Hey guys, so welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna do my TBR for the month of April. April is my month. I'm born on the 22nd of this month. We're not gonna talk about my age, 31. I don't like it. Anyways, I'm 30 right now. And I just want to show you the books I'm planning on reading. Usually, month of April, I'm more excited because it's like my month and I just feel like I need to read more books. So um, I'm just gonna go straight into my April TBR. Hey guys, so here's my April TBR. The first one I wanna read, you've already know about this, it's The Merciless Volume One uh, by Daniel Vega. So this is about a girl, she goes, she's new to school um, and there's something like kind of get convinced by a bunch of Christian girls that someone is possessed at school and they try to do a try to do an exorcism. So everything goes to poop. And this is the best of the best. I really love this series. And then if I can finish this and finish all my TBR, I am gonna pick up Merciless Book Two. So just I need to get this in hardcover I have all of these hardcover for this but this one and I need it okay <laughs> it's so funny how I only have three tabs because I was like so new to reading um and look at the end pages so yeah and I'm literally spamming spamming this author all the time like she should probably annoyed or knew who I am because I always talk about her books but uh, those are the two that I really want to read this month if I can if not I'm just gonna read this one and the number two that I really want to read is Amber in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir and I've talked about this one hit this one has been on my TBR for a good few months three months at least uh, so I want to read this if I can I think I can get the audiobook it is like so floppy I think that's the only reason why I want to read it and it's like a weird bounded book but I'm excited so many people talk about this series so I need to read it what it's about uh, Leia is a slave Elias is a soldier Nader is free under the martial empire defiance is met with that Leia and her family do not challenge the empire they've sent they've seen what happens to those who do uh, but when Leia's brother is arrested for treason, she is forced to make a decision. In exchange for help from rebels who promise to rescue her brother, she will risk her life to spy for them from within the Empire's greatest military academy. I didn't know what this is what it was about. It just seemed like really badass. And any woman badass is a hero in my books. Literally. And next, I I already started um, Finley Donovan is Killing It. I might finish before the end of the month, but if not, I'm going to bring this into April. And till now, I'm only chapter two. I'm a very slow, like there's so many things I'm literally doing at the same time from working. I uh, try to have a social life and just editing videos and I'm just busy. So I might not get to it in the month of March. So if so, I'm gonna bring it into um, the month of April of what I heard from uh, on Katie's Patreon. We always talk and um, pretty much what I've heard from other people is it's a girl, she's an author, she's struggling as shit. I've, from what I've seen in the first few chapters and because she's struggling, um, some person leaves a note to say like, I'll pay you $50,000. Uh, call this number so just like mm, okay sure and I think it's for her killing someone I'm only at the part where she calls back the number and then that's where I'm at so interesting for sure and then also I have The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout that I really want to read People have been talking about it, and I'm not sure what to think. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's trash. Uh, they should have only finished it at three books. It shouldn't continue. Um, I have a very, very bad feeling about what's going to happen. I don't know, but I really want to read it still. Uh, so that's another one that I really want to read. Also with Katie's Patreon, we have a book club there. We are going to read The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. Um, this seems good. I've read one of her Simone St. James book. I don't remember the name of it. So I'm kind of into it and seeing like what it is. So I'm excited. And then 
like these are all like amazing people on katie's patreon and discord like i'm telling you and they have suggested a lot of just the diviners by libba bray i've heard many things i've had this for at least five years or four so i think i need to pick it up uh i have one two three as books i have like paperback of the first and the second hardback of the third so if uh, i actually love it i am gonna pick up the hard the paperback for book uh four and five because i love paperback wait give me the flop you flop flop okay <laughs> So that's another one. So uh, what's about Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling street of New York City. And she is positively ecstatic. It's 1926 and New York is filled with speaking, speakeasy, Zeke filled girls and rakish rakish pickpockets the only catch is that she has to live with her uncle will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult evie worries he'll discover her darkest secret a supernatural power she has only brought her trouble so far but when the police calls will to crime scene of a murder girl branded with a cryptic symbol evie realizes her gift could help catch a serial killer i didn't know what this was about this seems good um the cover like sorry but it's like 1920 like is it it's 1926 i should have seen it <laughs> but it just seems like so good so i'm excited and then uh also the last book that i want to read is going to be brandon sanderson's star sight still need to get this sticker off but anyways i'm excited i love uh what was it called oh right here so I've read Skyward and now I want to read Starsight. I have the audiobook that when it came out I bought but I didn't continue it because I'm a mood reader. Help. I really need your help. So this is one that I actually really want to read. So I'm excited. Um, I hope I like it. So I'm gonna try to read this. Um, the first one is very complicated. Just this girl, her dad, kind of like they're in a world out. It's sci-fi, okay? So they're on a kind of a planet or on the surface of a planet they live kind of underground and if you go at the surface there's always people like shooting at you so they have their own forces and they kind of have to fight that but this girl um her dad died and was like a rebel kind of thing and she really wants to be a pilot but she doesn't understand like why he did what he did she kind of hates him um and then they don't understand everything so she goes into the force and a lot happened her spaceship is total awesomeness okay she has like a bot in her spaceship and he talks and talks and talks he's an asshole i don't freaking love it and this is continuing her story so that's her so i'm excited and i know there's i think two books a novella and then a th fort kind of that just came out but I want to continue it if I can. I will probably read it audiobook and just annotate it here, follow through here. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. So anyways, that's the technically my TBR for the month of April. Um, did I start making these random bracelets? Yes, I did. Because I'm bored and I'm a weird girl. Okay. I don't even know what I just tried to say. Anyway, so that's the books that I really want to read in the month of April. Uh, any of these books you've read, let me know down below what you thought of it, what you rated it, and if I should actually read them. <laughs> but I will talk to you in my next video, and thanks for watching. Bye!